Hello, uh, would you both like to learn your names and the reason you are here today? Hi, I am Shish. And hello, I am Samanda. And the reason we are here today is tiring day, right? I wonder how do you manage all this burden of being the Agyakari Larna Beta and my ideal brother who makes me suffer all day long? What I'm going to say, Samantha, take it in the best way possible. You should stop spending much time with boys. They say we do not need you like a boy. So it's better you stop before you completely become like them. But ma'am, stop, Samara. Do not argue. Go back to your beliefs. And it wasn't just her, you know. My friends said the same thing. That's when I realized that what's the point of being nice to people and talking to them? 
when in the end they're just going to mock and leave you nobody listens to you you have to make them So, um, can we discuss any insights that you get or anything that you learned through this journey? I've come a long way in this journey of self-recovery and I still have a lot of money in it. But I used to think that raising my voice was the solution of being heard. And Locking myself away is how I'm supposed to be. But now I know better. Now I know the difference in expressing myself and overshadowing others. I used to go out of my way to prove that I'm strong. But now I know that I don't need to. I am strong and I don't need to do anything to prove it to anybody else. I no longer fear judgment or rejection because I have learned and I am learning to define my own. I, I used to feel that I am weak because I was sensitive and caring. But now I know that it's not the truth. People fear us to define me. And societal expectations doesn't make me a man. My worth isn't defined by my worth isn't determined by meeting other people's expectations. Earlier I used to feel like I used to avoid disagreement and conflict because I was afraid of feeling weak. But now I know that I need to stand up for myself. And I need to build the my okay. I need to communicate effectively and have that self confidence and learn that I'll speak up my mind no matter if it causes disagreement. I will never let anyone walk on me. I'm so shesh. I'm sorry for the way I've treated you in the past. I promise from now on I'll always be sympathetic. I'm sorry to Savannah. I'll always be sympathetic to Our movie Raf aims to explain the impact of social impression on one's personal mental health and self esteem. Self esteem is basically about a person's opinion and what a person thinks about themselves. Through our character Samaira and Shresh, we have tried to portray how gender stereotype Parental issues, society conflicts can affect one's personal mental health and lower their self-esteem. We want to convey two messages. One, every individual is unique and we need to accept ourselves for who we are by simultaneously work on ourselves to grow better as an individual. Secondly, as a society, we need to learn to celebrate individual diversity instead of criticizing people for not matching our norms and standards. As the movie shows, self-acceptance by tackling challenges, challenges and we titled it as Ra. There's a hope that's waiting for you in the dark. You should know you're beautiful just the way you are. And you don't have to change a thing, the world could change its heart.